Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, members of the press. Thank you for joining us today. I have nothing very much to add to what our, my fellow colleagues have said, except to say two things. Number one is that it's now 19 hours since our broadcast uh, nearly a day ago. And the reason why we're holding this press event this afternoon is that something as simple as this should have been corrected a long time ago. And so we hope that after this press event, um, all the press who have been broadcasting this could take a look at the video and make sure that the 44 seconds and other parts of our chairman's speech, not only yesterday but in the past, will be addressed. It is true that um, Taiwan's press is not known for its impartiality, and in fact, the Reuters Institute study on journalism partner, in partnership with Oxford University had also ranked Taiwan's media trust rating with the public as a mere 28%, ranking us number 41 out, out of 46 countries in the world. And therefore, you know, we do have lots of challenges here as the Taiwan People's Party bring minority opposition in this election where we are having to rely on the foreign press to make sure this message does get out to the international community that we are committed to a fair and open electoral process to make sure that all voters understand our party's issues but also the other candidates and we believe that we would be a steadfast partner in ach achieving this collective objective. Thank you all very much. We're very happy to take any questions you might have. Thank you.